Okay, so a lot of you may not be using the Fairlight tab whatsoever. Um, that's what we're gonna get into today. Hopefully we can improve your workflow and get your audio sounding really good, really quick. I just have a mock edit here with a voiceover and that's what we're gonna be dealing with. So let's jump on over to the Fairlight tab. And a couple different ways of adding effects. Um, you can do it like this. Um, let's just drop this right on the clip. And as you saw, it, it applies it to that clip and that's not normally the way that we wanna do it. What you normally wanna do is to add it to the track itself, the whole track. So we're gonna do that. Let's just remove in case you have this kind of thing going on. You select the clip, go up and see the inspector over here and go to effects and we'll just trash that. That is clean, we'll close the inspector. Preferably, you would add EQ, probably some compression, uh, any other kind of plugin processing that you might do. You might add like an SSL channel, something that warms up the uh, the tone, give you some kind of analog feel to your, to your track. Um, what I like to do is go up to Fairlight here and work with the presets library. So these are presets that you would create um, by, you know, like let's say I, I add an EQ here and I massage and I figure out that this is kind of the kind of a EQ that I want to do on this microphone sitting at this desk, so this environment. And then I would create a preset based on that. Um, let's just reset that, which I've done. So I can grab, these are organized by these different categories here. So if I want to just change my equalizer, I'll select an equalizer preset. This is the preset I use at this desk. I select the track and now notice this lights up. And now I can hit apply and see on track two, I have this little EQ added. And I can also do that for the built-in dynamics um, as well as plugins. So, you know, I'll just do that real quick again. Let's see, hit apply. Now, if I made any modifications, let's say I said, you know what, I really wanna just add a little sparkle over here. And I find that this really is great and I wanna always do it this way. So what I can do is I can just keep that, go back to my equalizer presets select the preset I was, I was dealing with and the audio uh, track that I'm dealing with. And hit It says save new, but you can hit save new and you get an option to click update. So I actually just updated that preset. So anytime I add that to another track in the future, I will always get this little addition that I've added as well. So there's that. Besides the built-in dynamics and the equalizer, of course you can do presets, but what's really cool is you can do an entire track. So anything that you do on that track, even volume. So you can change your EQ, uh, any of the uh, effects, the like specific plugins, and that's categorized under the global track presets. So same thing, we have to, the order is that you select the track, or select the uh, preset that you wanna deal with, select the track you wanna put it on, and then this gets enabled and you can hit apply. Now that just updated that with all those settings. So I've got I've got a Pultec um, compressor here, I've got a Fab Filter little uh, uh, roll off here on my low end here, and I have this EQ happening for the mic, and I have a little bit of a, uh, a compressor after the Pultec. Okay, so let's have a before and after. So let me just disable these. Okay. So one of the major concerns when shooting a music video, obviously, is location. Uh, you want every dollar you have to go on. You might get a little bleeding in this mic, hopefully not too much whatsoever. But we did have this location. And in fact, we actually shot this whole music video based on the idea that we had access to this location. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna enable these again. Yeah, that's on. And we'll have a listen to the after. Idea that we had access to this location. 
not legal access. It was actually an abandoned building next to the lead singer's house. Oh, and by the way, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on videos like this. And anyway, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching.